it's Yoti here and I'm back with another video. Um, you guys seem to love when I did the collection video for all my Kai figures so far. So I thought I'd continue it by starting with Jay. So first I'm going to start off with the suit that came from Season 1, Episode 5. I think it's either 5 or 6. I think it's definitely six, I think. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just um, one that I started off with. And uh, like I did before, I'm only going to show a few of their faces because a few of them are different. So that's from the start of season one. Then from season two, I'm bringing in my custom Evil J. So it's basically just the same suit as the season one, but just with the um, guy with the silver glasses, like the, the cop, I think. And then we move on to season three, which is um, Technoblade J, with his uh, new uh, mask here, just without, not the hood, just mask. And now I bring in my gender bender, Jade, which I made a long time ago. I'll show her face because it's a special figure. All I did is just give her a um, nice kind of smiley one. Just to show that she's happy. Ish. <laughs> so that's Jade. And then from season 3 I have my custom stone armour from when in episode 34 all the ninja put on their stone armour in the uh, Temple of Fortitude to uh, protect themselves from the Overlord. It's basically um, Zane's one because um, I had two of these so I just coloured it blue. Uh, I have done a review on that, so if you uh, want to watch it, go f check it out on my channel. Then I have starting season 4 with Tournament J, which is um, really cool, and with the uh, Jade Blade there. And then I have another season 4, Jungle, or Zukun, I think. And uh, it's still the custom with his leg, with the bandage. I haven't actually taken it off because it's the only J that I have. <laughs> so I thought it would be cool to kind of keep it on. And then we move on to the Air Jitsu J. This is one I will take the mask off for. So it's nice and um, silver-ish. So they use kind of like silver and blue. Which I think is kind of cool to represent lightning. Then we bring on the first season 5 J with his yellow arrow blade. Yet again, they've done it with um, the black and the gold katana. I don't get why. It's weird, but I like it ish. And then I'm bringing on the J from the J Walker 1. Because he has this unique backpack thing, which is uh, basically just a sticker. And uh, the cord leads around to represent a lightning shocker kind of thing. And then we bring on Season 6. So this is the normal Jay that comes with Jay's dragon. With the new uh, katana holder that they have introduced. And then I bring on the final J I have, which is the eye patch J you get in the Misfortunes Keep. So I will show you the faces for that, because he has alternate faces. Eye patch J, and then Smiley J. So yeah, as before, the sets that they've come with, uh, I got this one from a polybag, I believe can't remember what it's called. <laughs> then I have custom. This one was from... Uh, I think this was from the temp... Uh, uh, Battle for Ninjago City, sorry. <laughs> Blind memory, I'm going blank. <laughs> but 
Then I have my gender bender, uh, another custom. This one came with the electro mech. This one came with the Enter the Serpent Temple, a Jitsu J, uh, Moro's Dragon, uh, J Walker One, uh, Jay's Dragon, and Misfortune's Keep. They are the J's that I have. And uh, if you like me doing these, which you seem to be, I will continue to do uh, Zane next time. So uh, yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!